I've made this video to illustrate the results of this little nodes experiment and explanation that I've done. Um, this first set of pieces that I've got here have no nodes in the slot, so this is kind of like a control set of pieces. The slots were drawn at 4 millimeters, which is the stated thickness of the plywood. And because the laser burns away some material when it cuts, the joints are a little bit loose. Um, they slot together quite nicely though, um, but you can see here there's a bit of racking um, because it's because it's loose. There's a bit of movement in the slots, um, which I think we can get a bit better than that. So this next set of pieces is demonstrating one short node, which you can just see there. The parts hold together a little bit better than with no node. Um, quite easy to slot together still. Uh, give them a bit of a wobble, they don't fall apart. There's still a bit of racking in the joint though, and as you can see, because there's only one node in there, the, the pieces actually pivot around the apex of that node, which I think we can get a little bit better. This next set is demonstrating one long node which is, will be harder to see because it's kind of a gradual curve that goes along the whole length of the slot. Uh, but the long nodes are quite quite interesting as they lead on um, because that curve is gradual. Uh, so they lead the parts lead on really easily, uh, meaning assembly will be quite easily quite easy. Um, I mean, and this this could be quite good if you're thinking about selling a design flat pack where the user assembles it and as you can see it's a bit tighter than before um, there's still a bit of uh, pivoting around the apex of that node because there's only that one point of contact in there um, so we'll just see if the, the, the experiment with two nodes can do any better than that so as I said this is the, the last set of pieces with two nodes on the slot there and there and these pieces um, take a little bit more effort to put together so sort of see I'm struggling a bit more here um, which is kind of a good thing because it means the joint's going to be nice and snug at the end of the day um, and and it's going to hold together really well and you may not even need glue and the timber parts are quite forgiving and they can be subjected to a bit more pressure than a plastic part without breaking um, so that's quite good and you can see that it's holding together pretty well We've reduced the pivoting because there's two points of contact. Um, so overall we've got quite a nice little tight construction. 